How come nobody's working? Because we're doing a picnic. It's lunchtime. So let me ask you something, Mike. How much of this picnic table does Counts Customs own? Bro, if I had to guess, Kevin, I probably own it all. You know what? I'm in then. Let's see. Come on. Counting cars have been around for quite some time. Showing on History Channel, it has made a name for itself, amassing quite a number of viewers. The show is being filmed in Las Vegas, and it follows automobile restoration and customization at Counts Customs, with stars like Danny Coker, Michael, popularly known as Horny Mike, Kelvin Mack, Scott Jones, Rolly Zabo, and Ryan Evans, amongst others. I'm ready. I agree. Oh, you don't know what I said. No, I do not. I'm smashing your face. This is gonna be interesting, man. There are lots of automotive-themed show hosts on Discovery, but none seem to be as rich as A star Danny Coker, so we were wondering how rich the cast members of Counting Cars will be, and here we are ready to give you all the details you need to know about their net worth. Before we go into full details, it's important to know that not all automobile-themed shows boast of very rich cast members, and that's due to factors that many already know. Factors like workforce, high cost of spare parts, and duration of repair make automobile-themed shows very unattractive since the network doesn't justify the hard work the cast members put into it. However, going home with $2,000 to $5,000 after each episode is just enough for many as they live a simple lifestyle. However, many tend to file for bankruptcy after some months due to their expensive lifestyle and little income. Let's get into it, shall we? Is this something that you would ever even consider selling? Anything's for sale. I would love to make you an offer on it. I've got to get 12 grand. I don't think I can go. I can't go that far. I have to turn a profit on it. Counting Cars is an American reality TV show produced by Left Field Pictures. For many who don't know, Counting Cars is a third spin-off of Pawn Stars, another reality TV show that follows the activities at a pawn shop where artifacts are sold. Also, Danny Coker, popularly known as The Count, has also appeared on Pawn Stars as a recurring expert. Debuting in 2012, Coker and other cast members brainstormed together to breathe life into automobiles. Danny, The Count, Coker Danny Coker was estimated to be worth around $13 million as of 2020 and $15 million in 2022. Danny sits comfortably at the top five list of richest automobile designers. Danny's wealth is mostly from the counting cars, but other cast members of the show and other automobile-themed shows can't lace his boot in terms of money. Why is that? Danny Coker is a serial entrepreneur. He has various means of producing high income for himself, not in an illegal way, though. For clarification, Danny Coker's shop, Counts Customs, has been around since the 1980s and is still up and running till now. So imagine how steady its income has been since the 1980s. To understand this better, take Boyd Coddington's for example. He filed for bankruptcy in the 1990s and still bounced back after establishing a new business in the 2000s, leaving millions of dollars after his death. Counts Customs has never once filed for bankruptcy and has been featured on Discovery's Counting Cars since 2012. Aside from that, Danny Coker is part of a band called Count 77 that has been around for quite some time now and has released albums and performed at various shows. Count 77 launched its debut album in 2014, and from the name, you can guess that Danny Coker formed the band, being the band's lead vocalist. The band has been in existence since before Danny made his debut on TV. The other members of Coker's band are Stoney Curtis, Paul DiCibio, Tommy Paris, Barry Barnes, and John Zito. The number 77 in the band's name is a reference to the 1970s, as their music is inspired by the sounds of that decade. Count 77 is considered to be one of the leaders of the new classic rock revival, and the band has even made a few appearances on Counting Cars. Danny, being a car collector, also has an extensive car collection of rare and valuable cars that have gone up in price since he bought them. Additionally, Danny Coker has restaurants and tattoo parlors around the city called Count's Vamp Rock Bar and Grill and a tattoo shop called Count's Tattoo Company, which all contribute significantly to revenue that adds to Coker's annual income. Danny Coker's car collection consists of expensive rare and vintage cars, and as the prices of the cars increase, his net worth increases as well. One thing to take away from Danny Coker is that being a businessman isn't enough. You have to explore the options available to make legit money while ensuring you're vast in that field. Coker being a car collector made him make huge profits from his investment. If he has no prior knowledge of cars and just ventures into them, he will most likely suffer losses. 
That said, Coker has set aside a significant sum of his fortune to devote to his automobile collection, as he owns approximately 58 cars and 78 motorcycles. A lot of his vehicles have been customized over the years, particularly his motorcycles, to increase performance and worth. Although his vehicles have appreciated over time, Coker has opted not to sell any of them. With every year that passes, he could make more and more money by doing so. Coker's daily vehicle is a 1965 Cadillac Fleetwood, while his most prized vehicle is the 1972 Ford Roadster. Coker has many other rare vehicles in his garage, from his 1956 Chevy Stepside and 1965 Cadillac Fleetwood Broham to his 1972 Chevrolet Monte Carlo and his 1974 Roadrunner muscle car. With his net worth of $15 million, Danny Coker can amass $50,000 to $100,000 on each car he has in his collection and a whopping $20,000 to $40,000 on each motorcycle in his garage. Going by the calculation, you could see why Danny Coker will remain as a top earner for years. Many of his restored cars and motorcycles are on display at Count's Customs, and Coker mentioned how he likes to display them regularly. Although his income from Count's Customs is the biggest share of his net worth being the A star of the show, his other stream of income sets him aside from the rest of other automobile casts. Kevin Scott Mack being Danny Coker's right-hand man guarantees his position as a second top cast member of Counting Cars. Kevin Mack has known Danny for about 20 years and currently serves as the team's manager overseeing all activities of the restoration shop. Kevin Mack boasts a $1 million net worth to his name, with most of the earnings coming from his role on the show. The amount Kevin earns per episode is kept private, just like other cast members, but earning $1 million as a manager is quite alright, considering he accompanies his friend Danny Coker to buy old cars needed for restoration. Rolly Zabo Rolly is in charge of cleaning and polishing all revamped cars before they leave Count's custom. Most times, he serves as the comic relief of the show with this Hungarian accent. Prior to landing his role on Counting Cars, Rolly used to work as a personal assistant and bodyguard to prominent individuals. Rolly's role on Counting Cars put him in a comfortable situation to earn roughly $2,000 per episode. His net worth is estimated to be around $200,000 as of 2022. Rolly is a private person to the core, and his lifestyle is simple, considering the fame Counting Cars gave him. Shannon Iko The Hawaiian-born is a bike shop manager and lead builder at Counting Cars. After displaying his prowess and engineering aptitude and technical know-how skills, he was hired by Danny Coker to help at the shop. From Shannon's name, you can tell he's related to Hawaiian surf star Eddie Iko. Shannon's private life makes it difficult to find a lot of information about him, but most of his earnings come from the show. His estimated net worth is around $400,000 as of 2022. Ryan Evans What will an automobile restoration shop be without a skilled painter and airbrush artist? Kudos to the engineering team as they work their ass off to come up with designs and proper functioning of the vehicle, but a painter breathes life into the vehicles with their skill. You know how raw gold looks without polishing? It seems odd and might be mistaken for a mere stone, but after going through some process like refining and polishing, it glitters and becomes attractive. This is the case of an automobile that passes through the office of a skilled airbrush artist. He and Mike Scott are close friends with Danny Coker, but his role limits him to the shop as they have lots of projects on their hands. Ryan is rumored to have been schooled in Germany, which explains why he can speak German fluently. Aside from his role as a painter, he helps Danny Coker with project conceptualization and finishing. Ryan is estimated to be worth around $3 million as of 2022, and his role clearly shows he'll earn more than some of the other cast members. Michael Henry, Horny Mike Please pay no attention to his alias. Michael Henry is another skilled painter and airbrush artist that makes a decent income from his role on the show and from the accessories he fabricates himself. Michael is estimated to be worth around $2 million as of 2022, with the majority coming from the show and the other part from cool-looking horn helmets he makes. The cast members of Counting Cars are the best in their respective roles, and that corroborates with their pay, even though Danny Coker appears to be the richest due to his investment portfolio and talent as a singer. How do you rate Danny Coker's investment plan on a scale of 1 to 10?